Hello again from the campaigns team. Now you may have seen or taken part in one of our recent online campaigns, such as our petition calling for waiting time targets for adults and our campaign to message your MP about early intervention. But what is it that we're asking the government and decision makers to do and why is this important in the treatment of eating disorders? Today we're joined by our policy lead, John Kelly, who's going to talk more about what adult waiting time targets actually mean. So John, first of all, why do we want to see waiting time targets introduced in England? It's very important that people with eating disorders can receive a specialist assessment and start treatment quickly. And this makes it much more likely that treatment will be effective for them. And being seen quickly can also help people to come to realise that they are ill and that they do need and deserve treatment. Unfortunately, um, quite often in England, adults who are referred for treatment will have to wait many months before they can start that treatment. And quite often with eating disorders, the longer that, they, that people are uh, unable to access treatment, the more unwell they can become. Um, and also, in some cases, they can start to lose hope of recovery. Are waiting time targets new for eating disorders? Well, in 2016, um, waiting time targets were introduced for children and young people in England um, with an aim that by 2020, um, all children and young people who are assessed as in urgent need will begin treatment within one week from referral and within four weeks with all, for all other uh, cases. Um, currently, there are no mandatory waiting time targets in place for adults with an eating disorder in England. Is it just the length of time that people have to wait that we're concerned about? And no, it's not just that that we're looking at uh, and we're concerned about. Um, the, the plan that NHS England is now implementing for children and young people in England um, provides a good template for what we'd like to see for adults in England now, um, which is really important was that as well as introducing waiting times targets, at the same time they also set clear guidance that everyone with all children and young people with an eating disorder should be able to access treatment and not just those that are severely ill. They also specify that treatment must be evidence-based and another important point is that they set minimum staffing levels for the, the new services to ensure that they were able to offer the, and provide the treatment that these young people need. Why are we focusing on this now? We have a really important opportunity now to persuade the government and the NHS in England to extend uh, the good work that they've been doing for children and young people to apply to adults as well. And the government has promised that, in, uh, that by April 2019 they will publish a, or they will create a care pathway for adult eating disorder services. A care pathway um, means that um, they will decide on a standard process to be followed in the treatment of um, people, adults with eating disorders. And what, we, what hasn't quite been decided yet is whether that will include mandatory waiting times targets for adults and whether it will include other standards such as minimum staffing levels for the services. And also last year the Parliamentary Health Services Ombudsman um, published a report and highlighting the understaffing and lack of resources available to the adult eating disorder services and that's why when calling for these waiting times targets we're saying that they must be adequately funded and that those services must be able to recruit the staff that they need to deliver those new standards. What about Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland? Well the health system is run separately in those countries so any standards agreed in England won't apply there. On the campaigning section of our website you can find out how you can take part in our campaigning actions for early intervention in those countries and also in future we'll be doing some videos like this about uh, campaigning in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. How can people get involved further? Well firstly if they, if they haven't already um, they, what they, we would like them to do is to go onto the campaign section of our website and to sign our petition and look at um, some of the resources about making contact with their MP and also, um, we like to do some research on this topic, um, so if you uh, have been referred to treatment or a friend or relative of yours has been referred within the last five years as an adult in England, um, we'd like to hear from you and um, 
So if that was something that might be of interest, then please send me an email. And my address is research at beateatingdisorders.org.uk. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this video both informative and helpful. Over the next few months, we'll be filming a series of similar videos to share with you, which talk more about our other key policy areas.